Hello everyone, this is Showtime 112. As the British Amphibious Landing Group entered San Carlos water on the morning of May 21, 1982, the Argentine High Command on the Falklands started to receive sporadic reports about it. They still believed that this was a diversion, but they sent recon aircraft to the zone to get a better picture of the situation. The first to arrive at about 10 o'clock was a pair of Pucaras from Goose Green. According to some sources, they were able to report the existence of 12 ships. Others say that they only spotted a frigate, Aegemus Ardent, in the Falkland Sound, but not the landing force. One of the Pucaras flown by Captain Benitez was shot down by a Stinger missile from the British troops on the ground. The pilot ejected. Another recon flight was ordered from Port Stanley or Puerto Argentino as it's called by the Argentinians. It was supposed to be two Aermaki MB339s, but one couldn't take off because of a mechanical problem. MB339 is an Italian-built jet trainer and light attack aircraft. Argentine Naval Air Arm had six or seven of these aircraft deployed on the Falklands, depending on the source. Teniente de Navío or Navy Lieutenant Guillermo Oven Cripa flew towards Fowl Bay and then turned south to San Carlos water on low level. Just after fanning head, he spotted a British Lynx helicopter at about 300 meters of altitude and decided to attack it with his guns. But then, Kripa saw at least 12 British ships and he was shocked by the size of the landing force. Instead of the helicopter, he decided to attack HMS Argonaut, a Leander-class frigate. He knew that with his guns and rockets he couldn't do any serious damage, but hits on the ship's radar and communication systems could effectively take it out of action. He first fired his 30mm cannons and then rockets into Argonaut and barely cleared the ship's mast. The ship received minor damage and three of the crewmen were injured. Kripa then continued south, just above the sea level, flying through the British landing group and avoiding anti-aircraft fire and missiles.
he was able to escape without any damage, and fearing that his superiors might not believe him, he drew a sketch of the area on his notepad with indicated positions of the ships he had seen. He finally landed at Port Stanley and gave his full report. He counted no less than 14 enemy ships. It now became obvious that this was no diversion but the main landing force. Argentinian fast jets would soon appear and the British forces experienced the most intensive aerial attacks of the entire conflict. HMS Argonauts suffered further damage from A4 Skyhawks, but we will leave that story for another video. I'd like to thank Patrick Cloutier for sponsoring this video. He's the author of Mussolini's War in the East, an exciting book about the Italian combat operations in Soviet Union. If you want to learn more about this relatively unknown part of World War II history, click the link in the video description. If you like this content, don't forget to press the like button. That little thing is very helpful, and if you want to help even more, you can join our Patreon supporters or donate on PayPal to ensure the future of the channel. Thank you and keep watching Showtime 112.